Water damage can be expensive. Cleanup and repairs can cost tens of thousands of dollars or even more. So why risk it? Card access can help you discover a leak before it becomes a disaster. Today we're going to talk about how to install the line powered version of the card access water leak detection package. This is everything that comes in the box that you'll need to get the job done. We're going to start by w wiring up the water leak probe to the terminals on uh, this piece here. So once we strip the wires, they come pre-stripped already. Okay, you're going to want to wire both of them up. It comes with two different probes. They don't act independently, but uh, they do work together. So you won't know which probe is going off, um, but you will know that water has been detected. Now what you want to do is if you look closely, you're going to want to put those probes right in between those two gold washers. So I've wired both of the water probes into the terminal here, the terminal screws, um, and now all I need to do is wire this into our contact sensor. So you can see that both of them are wired in, the polarity doesn't matter in this. I wired both the gold wires here, both the silver wires here, and then you'll be good to go once you get this wired in. So now we've got two wires coming into the back plate of the contact sensor. The gray one is for the water leak probes. The black one is actually the 12 volt power supply. So on the very bottom, you've got the power supply coming in to terminals five and six. And then from the water leak sensors, you've got green to terminal one, white to terminal two, black to terminal four, and red to terminal five, and it's gonna share that terminal with the power supply. Once you've got that wired up, you're gonna take and put the top of the contact sensor onto the back of, the, uh, onto the back of it. So you can see there's no batteries in this one because it's the line-powered version. You just stick it like this, close it up. You'll see that the LED is gonna turn red and then green, which means that it's ready to be ID'd into a pan. So now that I've got everything wired up, I've placed the first sensor underneath the water heater in the basement here. Um, it's just on the ground. I actually ended up gluing that one to the ground and tucked all the wires back behind the water heater. So this is a great place for one of the sensors that you can place. Places you can put water leak sensors are underneath dishwashers, behind refrigerators, behind toilets, sinks, at sump pumps, to water heaters, and underneath washing machines. This will prevent you from ever having the expensive water damage. You can at least get an alert quickly, know that water's been sensed, and fix the problem as soon as you can. 